You can trust in me, this is gonna be a great booth tour. Let's go check out the XPG booth. This is their Mars range of NVMe drives. It's the same drive, just different heat sinks applied. So we have the fan heat sink right here. We've got a combination of liquid cooling and fan cooling happening in here. And then we just have the standard heat sink on top right here. Now they are PCIe Gen 5. We have sport of up to 14,000 megabytes per second read and 13,000 megabytes per second write and we have capacities up to four terabytes. For me personally, I tend to use the built-in motherboard heatsink. I think that is enough. However, the option is there if you guys use a motherboard that doesn't have a built-in heatsink. I'm actually quite curious to see how much more efficient this is over a standard heatsink. So let us know if you guys want to see any testing done in a future video. This is the Lancer CU DIMM. DDR5. CU DIMM has a clock driver which actually stabilizes it and allows us to reach higher frequencies. They are thinking about applying their heat shield technology to these DDR5 RAMs as well, which will help with heat dissipation. Of course, that will put the price up a little bit more, but to be honest, you're sacrificing a little bit of money for extra performance and reliability out of the RAM. Overall, it'll make up for it in the longevity. Top speed for this one is 9,733 megatransfer per second but of course as you get to those higher speeds you are sacrificing in latencies and this would not work at those speeds with AMD. Again this RAM uses their eco-friendly materials well so it's fully recycled plastic. This is Project Infinity it's actually a prototype at the moment but it looks absolutely amazing. Now they are planning to launch this around Q4 if everything goes to plan. They are thinking that this will reach speeds of 8,000 megatransfers per second but again that means higher latencies. They are looking for feedback from the users so if you guys like the design of this or have any feedback please let us know down in the comments below capacity wise you'll be able to get this in 248 gigabyte sticks for a total of 96 gigabytes this is the Lancer DDR5 this is already out on the market this is what they call their mid-tier range and they say that this reaches all the way up to 8,000 megatransfers per second in certain regions because there are regions that like the design of this a lot more but for the general population this reaches speed of 7,000 megatransfers per second. And this is the RAM that is actually perfect to use with AMD CPUs. This kit you could actually purchase in two 64 gigabyte sticks. This is the Lancer Neon RGB DDR5 UDIM RAM. So we can go all the way up to 8,000 megatransfers. But of course, when you get to those higher speeds, then you're sacrificing in your seal latencies. Now we do have max capacities of up to 32 gigabytes. So that is two 16 gigabyte sticks. But the impressive thing about this is the RGB covers 60% of the surface area. And the material is actually fully recycled plastic but the material is also coated with a heat dissipating coating that is between the IC and the plastic itself. So it actually dissipates the heat a lot more efficiently. They are looking for feedback on these guys. Would you like to see that heat dissipating coating on all of their other DDR5 products? Let us know down in the comments and we'll see if they can make that happen. Tristan and I have been using Thunderbolt 4 for our Computex coverage here 2025, but ADATA have this Project Titan external SSD Thunderbolt 5. This is 80 gigabits per second Type-C connector. Now this is double the 40 gigabits per second that Thunderbolt 4 offers. So if we could get our hands on one of these, this is going to make transfer speeds so much faster as long as we have a Thunderbolt 5 compatible motherboard. Now for capacity, we could get up to four terabytes. So that is gonna be absolutely fantastic. We'll put a Gen 5 NVMe inside, fast transfer speeds, that's really gonna help with Computex coverage, but I thought I'd let you guys know because it's something that we can really see some great use out of. This case and that case are the Valor series of cases. It's an MATX motherboard supported case, but you can fit a 360 millimeter radiator up the top, a 360 millimeter radiator down the bottom. We have built in GPU support, and for those longer GPUs, you can actually take this out, put it over here onto the further slot here. It also has support for SFX power supplies and full ATX power supplies. Now there's two different locations that you can actually put the power supply. So you can actually have a midsection power supply mounting, but that limits the length of your graphics card. Now, if you want a longer graphics card, you can actually move the power supply up a level. However, then you're sacrificing on the length of your water cooling or your radiator support. So in this configuration, we have a 240 millimeter radiator installed with the power supply up the 
top. That means that we could actually have a full-size GPU inside, whereas if it was down there, then we could have the 360 millimeter radiator support, but we have to sacrifice GPU length. Now the MSRP for this case is $69.99, both for this version and the version over there. The difference between them is the internals are all the same. It's just the outside mesh panels. And I quite like the design on this mesh panel as opposed to that one. However, I do think there's a little bit more airflow support on the other one over there. Okay, these have to be the craziest design fans I've seen here at Computex uh, 2025, the Hurricane Mag 120 ARGB PWM fans. Now, on the surface, they look like any regular fan. They daisy chain together by a magnetic pull. You can have one cable power, five fans at a time, and they're actually releasing them as a four pack instead of a three pack for 109 US dollars. They have the regular RGB, much like most fans. However, the unique feature about these is they actually come with a cable that comes from the controller and attaches to the reset button. Now, what does this do? So if you tap the reset button once, it stops the fans. You tap the reset button again, it actually puts the fans in a reverse mode. So the fans can operate in reverse mode to bring airflow and completely change it throughout the chassis. I think that is pretty unique. I've never seen that on the market before. What do you guys think? Have you seen anything like that on the market? Let us know in the comments. This case is the Invader X Elite. It has a unique design where they've got an angle coming up a prototype at the moment, but the idea behind this is they want air to come in and be directed straight towards the glass and past the GPU. Some of it will go into the GPU, obviously, but they want more towards the CPU for those using air cooling. Now, they're saying that the ambient temperature within the case during their testing dropped by three to five degrees Celsius. They're still trying to perfect this angle and they're looking for user feedback for this case. If you have any feedback for them, let them know down in the comments. There is a white and a black version. The white version has this birch wood design and the black version will have a darker walnut design. Down the bottom of the case, we can fit a 360 millimeter radiator. Up the top as well, it's actually sandwiched behind the motherboard tray there. There's another 360 millimeter radiator support and the power supply is actually located in this section right here, up to 220 millimeters in length. And we do have BTF motherboard support as well. And you can see here, they actually have two 120 millimeter fans at the rear here. And because those fans sell in a four pack, all you need is two four packs and you've completely decked out this whole build with fans. Well, that's a wrap here at the ADATA XPG booth. I have to say my favorite product today was the Valor Mesh Nano case. I actually like the Valor Air Nano Mesh a lot more than this, but the case internals are very similar. A nice, clean, compact MATX designed case. That has to be my pick of the day. Let us know in the comments what your favorite is and check out this video up here somewhere where we actually check out some more awesome cases, you'll be amazed.